Hi, Tim. I'm so excited to be working with you in this upcoming ICMTA gathering, teachers gathering. Yeah, me too. Very excited to be putting this together with you um, and the and the teachers gathering pod who have devised a program that's looking really good. Tell us about the program. So we're going to focus first and foremost on initiation. We're all being asked to really navigate through uh, very narrow passageways in these times. And we're going to take the opportunity to really contemplate how each of us are being asked to grow and change and how as a community we can come back together and share our stories. And then we're going to put it into a larger perspective of the kinds of initiatory process that the whole planet's in right now, whether it's environmental, whether it's in the social uh, justice space, whether it's, of course, through this pandemic, economic, education, all the intersection of all these different parts of our lives. And we're going to go deeper into the fact that um, really befriending how to address the environmental and social injustices that are happening is part of waking up and meeting these initiatory uh, experiences that we're all having. And we're going we're gonna to go through the dance and let the dance be a way of really accessing our soul's wisdom so that we can navigate through with, with more resilience and more collective intelligence. But we're also going to be really engaging our minds and looking at some of the ways that systemic oppression is really operative, not only in our own lives, but really in the lives of so many people, the world, the global majority, and how can we create more awareness and ultimately more safety and inclusion on the dance floors. And um, it'll be, we have many different teachers, including some of the young leaders from the Golden Bridge community who will bring perspectives that hopefully will really inspire us and transform our thinking. And then we'll land on the ground on Sunday with a really deep dive into our relationship with in, in the environment. Over to you. And I believe that day is gonna be led by Tess Howell. And the very first day uh, is going to be led by Michael Skelton on the theme of initi initiation. And what I love the idea of, of all of these crises that are going on around us and that are causing so much disruption and disturbance and trauma. Um, I, I really like the idea of what is the initiation in that? What are the opportunities in that? What is the transformation that is asking to happen in all of that? And I think the program that you all have put together, it, it really harnesses all of that and maybe maybe leaves us feeling hopeful inspired enabled empowered um clearer even though we're dealing with an unprecedented time in human history well hopefully through through the deep inner work that we know how to do together we will each get an upshift and an understanding of what is our place in this collective conversation and how can we show up in even more embodied and clear ways to help move the, co the collective forward in, in life-giving ways. So Tim, I also know that we're gonna gather and have our General Assembly. Can you tell us a little bit about what that's like? Yeah, the General Assembly is uh, the kind of AGM or annual business meeting of the ICMTA and we do it every year at the gathering and we do it in a very unusual way. So a lot of those kinds of meetings can be a bit boring and a bit bureaucratic and committees and things. and. The, the ICMTA has always used dynamic governance as a way of doing what we do. Um, and uh, a guy called Nate um, Whitestone, I think his name is, he's been facilitating the, the General Assembly um, every, for the last five years, I think. And he's a, an ama amazing facilitator. And we use this system which involves everyone's voice so that we, uh, we're all involved and we're all participating on doing a number of things, looking at the accounts and so on, listening to the, the year's activities, but then electing uh, new board members, which every year there's an election for some new board members. And we use this system to, to bring the intelligence of the whole um, together to come up with who we want to um, elect for the new, the new board. So that's basically what we'll be doing on the second day, I believe, the General Assembly, part of the second day. I remember last year being so inspired by how ICMTA actually runs as an organization. And that to me is a real response 
to the crisis that the planet is facing right now is how do we create truly inclusive leadership? And so in that way, we all get to keep learning and really experience this in a very grounded, very practical way. So I'm excited for the meeting too, because it's always such a, a learning opportunity. Tim, what else before we close? Well, just uh, encouraging people to save the dates to come. The, the schedule will not be overcrowded, but we'll have three days together doing lovely different things. Um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a very rich time. And um, hopefully by April, many of us will be coming out of some of the lockdowns we're in right now. Uh, but even so, I, I think gathering together internationally in the ways that we do, it will be inspiring. And that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to being with you too, Tim, and just weaving. We're going to be weaving the whole weekend together so that it's a cohesive whole and really allows us to um, go in and come out and um, return to our lives refreshed and reconnected with ourselves and this awesome community. So save those dates the 16th through the 18th of April. Sign up and we hope to see you there. Yeah, look forward to it. Okay. I'm Melissa Michaels, by the way. And, <laughs> and this I'm is Tim Foskett. Yeah. Okay. Peace. Thank you.